here we go! Hey, what's up, Files? Came to heckle me? Alright. I'll allow it. Let's see it. Let's see what you got. Also, I mean, let's be real. Uh, Sunday and Monday, I didn't play any Link to the Past. So I gotta squeeze in a little bit. And I played Zooter most of yesterday. Zooter. That's a nice thing. Do I go for the big dumb meme play and just check Dark Cross out of the blue? I think I do. I think I'll go do that. What, no quick swap? This sucks. Dun -dun 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 uh, yeah, we'll go for this stupid play. Honestly, hmm. Now, here's the question. Do I... I could go steal the key to get to the back. Yeah, but I don't have any bombs. But, do I want to use this bee to kill a bunch of rats? Or uh, snakes to see if they'll drop me a bomb? Damn it. Hmm. Otherwise... I'd like to use this B to maybe kill the first guard so I can at least get to the boomerang chest. Yeah, but that's not in logic, so I don't know. Alright, well, that was easy. Um, hmm. Cool. I guess I'll go ahead and sequence Ray Gazelle to sell then. Well, this was a good start. Um. Okay. Yeah, because it also depends. Can I get a bomb drop, maybe? Yeah, hey, hey. Give me that. Now, it is a key sanity, and oftentimes in key sanities, I like to go for the hula hand play early. Okay. Hmm. This seems like a pretty good play. What up with that? Moon Pearl, Sword, Lamp. I mean... If this wasn't Key Sanity, I'd already be thinking about the possibility of Aga Tower, but... Now we just need to get a glove, so we can get to the back of Escape and not have to worry about that. Yeah, because these two chests aren't in logic without the Hyrule Castle small. Yeah, I probably should hula hand. The only thing that would stop me is if I got more bombs all of a sudden. Alright, 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 alright. Very good. All of a sudden, okay. Actually, getting my bombs means I can comfortably hula hand, because now I don't have to really worry about farming bombs. So yeah, I'll go ahead and hula hand and then take the south route up to Kakariko. That seems good. Da 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 da! Scooby doo doo! I'll try, because it is a late night stream, I'll try and be extra quiet so people that are wanting to sh fall asleep 
can fall asleep. Though, that's easy to do in this game. I don't know so much about Mario Bros. 35. That's, that's a very high energy game to, to be playing after midnight. Seven, eight hours. That's so far away. Yeah, I really wanted to do commentary, but I, because of how late I got into doing my qualifiers, um, I just couldn't make time for them. And then the only, the only honestly, the only one I could have done would have been the Wednesday, the last one. But by the time I got around to signing up for it, they had already si assigned people, so. Okay, well, I feel good about the items that I found in Hyrule Castle. I feel like I might have spent a little bit too much. No, no, I feel good. I feel real good. Mm -mm. Fall asleep listening to Mario 35. I feel like. I feel like that'd be tough. It'd be so loud. I'll just get like first place and be like, yes, and that's it. Move on. Mario 35 doesn't look very fun. Arguably, it's it's not. It's it's not. I can honestly say it's not a very fun game. It's uh. It's one of those kind of good time killers, I'd say. I mean, there are definitely some streamers that are getting a lot of mileage out of it. Um, my biggest issue is the beginning is always the same and often very slow. It doesn't really get excited and exciting until like the last five are left alive. Marble Castle. And it's cast. Close. But yeah, I... I kind of wrote the game off, but then finally... Over the weekend, I, I decided to fire it up and play it a little bit. And I, it was... I mean, it, it's entertaining to a degree, I'd say. I enjoyed the aspect of, like, unlocking new levels is fun. And the satisfaction you get for killing some poor innocent soul. It's pretty nice. It's, I, I'd argue it's a lot more fun than Fall Guys. <laughs> so, early Samaria is nice. The next thing I want to see is probably the glove. Mirror's good. That would have helped out in Hyrule Castle a wee bit. Okay, we can go do all of Eastern Palace, so I guess we should go do that. I'm honestly considering doing that over South Shore. I mean, the only way it would make Eastern Palace faster is if I found the boots. It is weird how fast people get knocked out in that game. I mean, I've played enough Mario Maker to understand the the the, the first Goomba being the most treacherous part of the game. But that's because, you know, you're juggling with three other players. So it's really easy to get knocked into a Goomba or something, but when it's just you by yourself, Big goofing. Hey, what's up, TTR? How's La Milana 2 treating you? Mm. Okay. Well, I guess I'll walk back then. <laughs> See, this is the this is when the, the south route sucks. And you get something like that, and it's like, oh, all right, well. Um, okay. 
Well, that makes him overworld routing, routing a lot easier. Um, that gets me up to Death Mountain as well, which gets me into Tower of Hera. I still want to just go straight for Eastern, just because it's a beatable dungeon. I can stop by Sahasrala's hut and find out what the green medallion or pendant is. So it's just a good information gathering. And here's the thing: if someone didn't do Uncle Route, they would have flute, mirror, and bow. They'd probably still go to Eastern. They might go to South Shore first. Oh yeah, Link's Awakening is a fantastic game. I uh, am not a big fan of the randomizer, which I've played a few times, but that's more so just because it's a pretty confusing entrance shuffle. I think I've only actually ever beaten a randomizer of it like maybe twice. Okay, it didn't say Eastern, so that's good. I was expect I'm always expecting the immediate green pen at Eastern. What's up, Kachiri? Yeah, I don't blame you, TTR. There's some parts of La Mulan too that even the combination of Swerve and I's massive brains. Um, so we still had to really scratch our noodles for them. Nice. I'm glad you guys got a team together for the open league. Okay, we can clear all of this. I'll probably grab the 90 rupees in here as well. We still need a few things to get to the dark world. And so far, we're still completely in logic. Nice. Okay, back of escape. Um... Back of escape. <laughs> Good. Oh, really, Zed? That sucks. Yeah, that would be really frustrating. Sorb and I played through it really early. Um, like, I think it was even before any of the patches, so... Uh, game was some good old-fashioned BS. Man, I'm really... Uh, there's so many playthroughs that I stream that I didn't highlight, and I don't know why. I mean, I can't say that the La Milana 2 playthrough would have been a good highlight, because it was, you know, as it should be, a lot of running around doing, accomplishing nothing. But still, you never know. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's another dungeon in logic. I guess we'll go there next. Yeah, the only thing that would suck right now is if Boots... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was about to say, if Boots were down in South Shore. Oh, good, good. So far, this routing has been, um, arguably pretty good. Only thing I could see that would change it up would be not doing Uncle Route first in a Hyrule Castle, because then I could have had the mirror to not have to Death Warp out of Dark Cross. And, uh... getting the glove out of Eastern to check back of escape, but it's, yeah, it's like minimal stuff. Well, the question now is how long do I want to put off South Shore? 
Do I want to go for it right away after this? I mean, Zora is in logic now. And with boots, I can get all those checks really early. I could even set up for a double water walk to grab the Zora ledge item, which could be beneficial. Though the last time I remember doing that was in a qualifier, and of course I ended up skipping the hobo because of it, and that lad had the lamp. Again, like two seeds in a row. Starting boots is great. I like it. I like going fast. Um, personally, I would kind of rather see it in longer modes like cross keys. I almost feel like they're too powerful in just like standard modes. But it is kind of nice that on average people finish seeds like sub 90. looking for mitts or a hammer. The answer could just be right up Death Mountain. Y'all be down, Loki. Sounds good, man. Have a wonderful night, bud. Is nice. Um, I'm gonna set up the double water walk. Because that's the thing, is like if I go over there and there's nothing on Zora's ledge, then I just go right back. It's not a big deal. I'm still bad at setting this one up, so I always go for the, the bomb de-boost. So if you don't know what the double, double water walk is, basically an ice rod cave. You dash along either the left or right side pit. Um, that stores a water walk for reasons. You go into this waterfall cave, you just go in and out. No left or right, you don't check any of those. That puts you in water walk. So now I have water walk, but I also have a water walk stored. And it's nothing. So now we go back. And I'm probably going to end up... Skipping the bridge check. <laughs> Thanks for the bees. So, hopefully that doesn't bite me in the butt. Because I'd rather focus on, you know, grabbing stuff that's... I, I, if I had to pick one versus the other, I would rather, in this scenario, go for the thing that's actually in logic, since that could be my progression. And it's not. You know what? I guess I can lose a little bit more time dashing back. Now, if I didn't have the boots, I definitely would not do this. Hungi should order some late night food. Ooh. What you thinking? I feel like this is. Oh, there's an ice rod. That's cool. So I can actually get that without the flippers if I really want to get it early. Once I get to the dark world, I would just have to set up a stored water walk from uh, Skull Woods, and then I can dash over it and get that. Na -na 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 -na. So, we got info. That's good. Info's good. You could do canes. Right. Do canes then. Oh, 
Okay, we still have Mini Molnar Cave, the Dam, Agana, and we have everything on West Death Mountain. This and Bonk Rocks. I'm just looking for mitts or a hammer. So, hmm. That opens up first chest Aga Tower, which sucks. So hopefully I can get Dark World first and I can just check that when I check Pyramid later. I'm gonna check Bonk Rock, so I'm gonna just go straight to Tower of Era because I just have so many items. Though it does feel weird to put off Mini Moldern Cave. <sighs> Fine, we'll go check those two. I mean, it's not like these spots aren't gonna get checked at all, so checking them now versus later doesn't really matter. Nice. Why would you bonk him from the left side? Because you have less knockback because you hit the side or like the screen transition? Dude, just think of all the time save if I did that. Oh my gosh, thank you, Files. I don't know what I'd do without you. This could be an Agaseed. Fifteen dollars worth? I don't even remember how much the meals are there, but I feel like they were always, like, at least under ten. I feel like you could get, like, an eight dollar meal or something with drink, chicken, and a biscuit or a toast. I agree. Get extra toast. Castle Tower? See, this is a weird place to be in right now in this scene. Because... Obviously now I'm picturing the pot potential... Of it being an egg seed. I don't know why I'm checking this. I should just blind grab it. But... Okay, well, I'll just not get that then. So, if I had done South Shore first... If I had done South Shore and Eastern before Escape, I'd be able to have checked the first two checks. Thieves Town and Pot are both crystals, that's good. Oh, and Eastern was a Pyramid Fairy Crystal. Got it. Okay, well the answer's here, Agonist Cave, or the first two checks of Aga Tower. And <sighs> Hera Basement is also available.
this point, I'm just kind of anticipating that I'm going to find another Castle Tower key, but... I hope I just find Dark... like, find the hammer, or find the mitts, and then I can just include a... Castle Tower check. With a Pyramid check. So that's good. I guess I'll do here a basement. Okay, that wasn't pyramid theory crystal. It's not here, then we either run all the way over for one check at Agonis Cave. Or we go for the Castle Tower play, which is two checks. Both of which are locked by Lamp, since one sword is locked by Lamp. So it, it certainly has more value to it than just uh, Agonis Cave. do that thing anyway. <laughs> Might as well head to Meyer. Period. Check it out. Get some info. Now I got a bunch of stuff here. Uh, Quake. Basement was the mitts. The Titan mitts to get to the Dark World. So, that's the thing, is if I do want to, if Castle Tower is still holding on to something, I either have to do a, a sequence break to get over there, or, because I want to, I want to time it in with uh, the pyramid check, but, I don't know, I don't want to put it off for forever. Uh, right now, we could also go do Thieves Town, but I'd really like to find that hammer first. Uh, I wouldn't go that far, could you? I mean, I'm near the last location. <laughs> My progression. Alright, well, that's it for that. Dancing Dragon is a good tune, for sure. I could steal a key check right side, but if I was going to do that, I should have done that first. Checkerboard, Agonist Cave, and then, yeah, I guess we'll head to Village of Outcasts. We can dick around in Skullwoods, and we don't have to play super safe, because we do already have a Skullwoods small. We could beat Thieves Town. We would just have to bail out, or skip out on the big chest, which is always scary. But long chilly dog. Yo, free pour. What up, dude? Thanks for the 25 months. 
you guys are wondering why I'm, I, I no longer display my sub count anymore, it's because it's the great fallout, the great subpocalypse. Because a month ago was my big birthday stream. And uh, I can tell you, the sub count has already dropped over 100 points. So <laughs> I figured we'd just keep it off. I can get Ice Run. I'm gonna do this just because I don't mind isolating Graveyard Ledge, because I, I more often than not will take Graveyard Ledge to Catfish. And I just always don't like how many times you have to mirror to check King's Tomb and Graveyard Ledge if you do this trick, or do this uh, route. I mean, it's good if you're doing, like, sub-incentives. And sometimes having a sub-incentive displayed will entice people to contribute. Okay. We'll go ahead and dip into Skullwoods first. Mysterious horse. Well, yeah, that is an option. But the thing is, files, is that sub incentives are, or like, sub goals are also often tied to. Unlocking emote slots, which is based on total sub points. So, you know, like that birthday week, I unlocked three new sub emotes. One at th what 350, then at 400, 450, and then 500. So it was kind of important to show the total there. Yo, mittens. Yo, thanks for the tunes. Thanks for the sub gift to my boy Files. Nope. Nah. I have those emote slots unlocked forever. And I intend to fill them. Okay, there was literally nothing in there. This might actually be, like, a straight-to-thieves kind of play. I don't know. The WJB Smug. It's a good one. Yeah, the thing is, I hit... I passed, thanks to a bunch of really, really generous people, I passed 500 sub points total. Um, which is bonkers. And then, like, the next sub emote unlocked at 600. And it would have been easy to just keep pushing, but I was like, no, 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 no. I really personally want to get to 600, like, naturally. Not just, not just from an onslaught of sub gifts. I also couldn't think of any more good sub incentives. Okay, we're gonna that one. See, I don't know. Fierce, but yo, thanks for the Twitch Prime. Appreciate that very much. Welcome to the group group. Thanks. really need to find a hammer. Um, and I really don't want to folk this dungeon without 
the hammer. But I think I'm just gonna hope for the best. I suppose. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we could just run down to Hype Cave. It's a tough call. Like, it's worse in this situation because I have the Thieves Town small already. But that also means that 100% the hammer can be in this dungeon. Obviously not in the big chest, but anywhere else, so. Uh, what do we have logically open? We still have Graveyard Ledge, all the way down to Hype Cave. And Aga Tower. So. <laughs> yeah, like in this situ situation, I would have much rather just ran straight to Hype Cave. Because getting back here is pretty quick with Mitts and Flute. I have a good feeling that Hammer, if it's not along this path, good chance it's probably going to end up being in Aga Tower at this point. Starting Hammer is not too bad. Because it's very strong. It's just the hitbox on it does suck quite a bit. So... The question in this scenario is, if it's not here, do I go all the way down to Hype Cave, do I do Smith Chain, or do I go Graveyard Ledge, Bomb Jump to Catfish, Pyramid Aga? It's tough calls. Well, that's annoying. Desert Small. The one thing I'm worried about is if my opponent did go back to Aga Tower instead of up to Death Mountain. And, like, finds the hammer. But then, if that's the case, it'd have Darkhold access and they might miss the mitts in the basement. Uh, why not grab that heart? That heart. Kill. Um, okay. Laser the face right out the gate was not part of the plan there, blind. Yeah, Hammer. Swordless is, is a tough mode. Hammer is not an easy weapon to work with. Alright, I guess I have no reason not to just go ahead and do Smith Chain, but... It's so annoying, though. Need money, stop it. Okay. Um, yeah, I might as well just go ahead and turn him in now. So yeah, worst case scenario is Hammer is Graveyard Ledge or an Aga Tower. And there's something important in Thieves Town Big Chest. Because that's like a last location check right there. Ten bucks for fifty bucks? Wow! Fine. Blue? 
Files, are you joining the Open League? We're we gonna get some files, some team files action. Graveyard or South the Grove mirror back. Run up, check Stumpy, ditch purple chest. Show me the hammer. That's ah, money. Never actually done any league. It's pretty fun. If you like yelling at your teammates. I guess we'll go do desert next. Seed is very nice when it comes to just giving me stuff. Um, actually, we'll do this first because I'm gonna try and go hype cave and then splash delete to get up to. Mm, maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should just go do desert next. All right, well, that wasn't worth it. It's pretty fun. I, I enjoyed last season. Uh, it helped that I was in a division with a bunch of my friends, so that was nice. Do it. I said don't do it. <laughs> I specifically said don't do it. And then you done it. Ah, oh, there's no way. There's no way. Okay, well. Now Hammer could be in the first two chests of Swamp. I'm gonna fulfill this route. And grab my ice rod. Okay. That is not a mirror. The longer this goes, though, the longer, the better chance of it being hammer and like stupid ice palace. Also, pod with no small keys? The hell? Alright, we'll check this. We'll mirror the first two items in Castle Tower, and I won't have to worry about that anymore. This is probably a useless map, but whatever. Wow, what are the odds? Go be desert. Honestly, not a bad idea. Okay. It's useful, but not like something I feel bad about missing for this long. We'll go beat Desert Mire. The seed is going quick. I'm 
just getting so many items that allow me to beat dungeons, so I'll be able to beat these two dungeons. And then, yeah, we just need to figure out where our last pendants are. Only thing weird about this dungeon is coming here with zero keys. Feels weird. I do have to be careful, though, because my health is... I have a fairy in a bottle. We're fine. Not even worried. Oh, no. All right. It's a good map. Uh, the only scary thing right now is this could very easily turn into a hover seed. It's very possible. Nice. Okay. There's my hammer. switch. Okay. Yo, what's up, Michael? Thanks for the sick hint, dude. Okay, well, with Hammer gives me access to East Death Mountain. Um, I need one pod small. Wait. Yeah, I need one pod small, and I could just beeline it straight to Helma. So that would be insanity. The only thing I worry is that this could turn into this could very yeah easily turn into a hover seed. And I've been my hover's been really rusty lately. Um Honestly, okay, if Either we need a fire rod for T Rock or Skull Woods, or we need a hook shot for Swamp for Go Mode. We could technically need a big key for ice, but meh. a small key in this stupid dungeon kind of sucks. So now I gotta run over here, grab these two chests, then run back. Okay, all right, just do your thing. <laughs> get a hook shot while I'm in here, that'd be great. Best I can do is a red boomerang. Okay. Let's go beat up a boss. That also opens up Pyramid Fairy. So that's two items. what I do, DT. It's what I do. It's a good chance we could beat Desert for a pendant. Which would not be ideal, but...
Thanks, Files. I don't know if you're sincere or not. Even even with that disclaimer before your message, I I don't know. It is nice not having hair in my face and having to constantly brush it away, so it it works, and that's all that matters. <laughs> okay, Files, whatever you say. Okay. I don't have to play this safe at all because I have a fairy. Yeah. Is that go mode then? No, I still need another T Rock small. If if Swamp is a pendant, well, actually, we'll find out if T Rock is required or not. But yeah, we're one T Rock small away from beating that. If we skip lava chest, it is a crystal. Okay, well, killing Mothula is quick. No, I really, I really trust you as being sincere. Files, don't worry. I'm only messing with you, because it's easy. Yo, what's up, Tay? How's it going? Okay, one TR small. And then I just gotta hover. That's it. Easiest game ever. Got a new headset? Hell yeah. Nice. Why, this dungeon sucks. Okay, um... Hmm. Oh, wait, I still need pod smalls, too. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, this could be a really weird go mode if I actually want to try and go for the hover GT, is the thing. Boy, I really wish hovering wasn't a thing that existed. I would much rather just not think about it at all. And just be like, all right, and he. Well, here's hoping that Swamp Palace is a uh, crystal and Skullwoods is a pendant. I don't know. It, it's a trick that, like, I can do. I am not consistent at it at all, and I don't ever want to practice it. It's like the bloody Moldorm bounce. Yo, that's awesome. I I have like three pairs of headsets, and the one I've been using lately gets the job done. Playing molas, you gonna be like that? Mm. have it that's those are that's it okay so i need pod smalls and i need t-rock smalls where am i going i have no idea where to go i guess i'll go to death mountain <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know what to do this is unprecedented Let's just go up here, and if we find a T-Rock small, then we're... 
And we'll just, yeah, I don't know, we'll just go for it, I guess. Should you wear your hair like me? I don't remember the last time I seen your hair down. But yes, sure. I'm mad that you haven't already. This is a weird scenario to be in. I I, I don't like it. <laughs> uh, boomerang. Yeah, I I need to find one TR small and just one pod small and then I can get into GT and all I gotta do is just hover and I win. That's it. That's all I gotta do. Piece of cake. Controller incapable of hovering. Just go back to playing this with an Xbox 360 controller. But T-Rock small so I can at least beat this dungeon while I'm up here. Or give me a bunch of other crap that I don't know what to do with. Oh, I might not even... I forgot about medallions. What am I doing? Pods, one pod small, one TR small, and then maybe a medallion for go mode. Sure, that worked. Tag, we met at... Was it this past AGDQ? Because if it was then, I was... If it, if it was it that, or was it actually live? Okay. If it was this past AGDQ, I was super sick. And by super sick, I mean I was, like, just... Try I, I probably was very unfocused. <laughs> Okay, well, we need Bombos. That's cool. So... T-Rock? Of course. Now Bombos, please. No, that was supposed to be Bombos. Yeah, I was playing Gerudo Exile. Like, that's... My only real memories of AGDQ was playing that... That, that hack. And sneezing. That was it. I don't like that. Don't like that at all. Fingernails are too long. All right, we give it three tries, and then we bail. Okay, good enough. The last TR small, that's very interesting.
Which means that Hookshot can't be in GT. That's actually really good info. Right? Yeah, because logically you need all T-Rock Smalls to be to get through T-Rock, so... What's our highest dense locations right now? Green Pen and Ice Palace? Yeah. We got Green Pen, Green Pen and Ice Palace. We got Run a Swamp. We got some of pod. I mean, that's the thing is like we can get into pod. We can check one chest, and then the two on the right, and then the bridge chest. That's it. Oh, and the drop. We can actually check quite a bit in there with only with zero keys. Uh, yeah, I think at this point I either gotta. I gotta go for a crappy pendant dive. Mm -hmm. I am tempted to go kill Moth just because of where Fire Rod is, but... any more bees. Well, I can't go to Ice Palace with no magic. This is a weird play. Why am I making this play? Right now, we just need to find Bombos. I feel like Ice Palace is the way to go, but... But I also don't like Pendant Dungeons. <laughs> and this feels like a bad play since I have somehow zero keys. So there's got to be one in here. There's just got to be. Bum, 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 bum. So we got Hammer Pigs, Magic Bat that we can go check. There's Bumper Ledge, Graveyard Ledge, Catfish. There's All of Ice Palace. Front of Skull Woods. The two in the back of... Er, Front of Swamp. The two in the back of Skull Woods. checks left, and then... I still can't go Ice Palace, because I don't have any magic. So, let's go... I don't know, beat Mothula, I guess. But even if I get a small key, then I still have to, like, go all the way around.
Thursday practice? Sounds good. magic right there. Uh, I'll just kill him off, Yola. Same thing. Yeah, it is quite the sight to see to be this far in and have no pod keys. I'm gonna assume they're all just probably chilling, like in T Rock or Ice Palace or something like that. I'm just thinking about where the hell that hook shot is then. Since it's not in GT. So for Go Mode. With a hover. We just need one pod small and bombos. Without a hover, we still need a hook shot. Can I actually? Oh, yeah. Yeah, JR did a really good job with this MSU pack. Big fan of it. That's the thing is, if there's any dungeon where I'm likely to find a key to that dungeon within it, it's pod, usually. The worst place for Bombos to be would probably be Big Chest Thieves Town, because that's just one I'm never going to get. I just want to find Bombos next. Alright. We're gonna do this route, I guess. Mm, nah. Just go straight to Ice Palace. I was gonna go check North Dark World, but I'd rather just beeline it. Uh, I can't check the pedestal without a book. Also remember, this is a race, so kind of be careful with the things you guys are saying. Ooh, there's my magic. Uh... Man, she just came straight here. Alright, we'll go ahead and icebreaker and check this side in case we find a pod small. But yeah, it's straight to T Rock. It's such an easy play to make, too. It's 
it's the classic fire rod leads to bombos, or vice versa. Grab this check and then we're out of here, I think. Okay, check. One more thing. Then we're out of here. Skipping two items in here. I mean, this is... Honestly, I was just ho holding out for maybe finding a hookshot, but... I would have felt just fine grabbing Bombos and leaving, honestly. Good chance we're gonna find hookshot and at least one pod small here in Turtle Rock, so... Yeah, because that's the thing. Logically, I still need all six pod keys to beat this seed. But I'm obviously going to try and do it with one. And then I'm going to hope for the best that... Just find a hookshot along the way. Hey, Phileon. Thanks, bud. See, Files, you just gotta say it like that. Then I'd believe you. Also, be Phileon. Can you do that? Two options. <laughs> well, one thing I know for sure is that Lava Chest isn't a hookshot. So that's good. I wonder if that also logically means that hookshot can't be in the back of T-Rock. There's so many purple names in chat, it's hard to keep up with all of y'all. Okay, I'm gonna kind of route this in a unique way. Because I have everything I need, I'm gonna beeline it straight to midway and then come back in and check the rest. Obviously, I'd rather not have to hover, and I'm going to do everything I can to not be in that position. But I don't really want to spend... <sighs> I, I mean, I already hovered once today, so I know I can do it. I know I'm capable of doing it. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Finally, you said your team's coming back, right? For the league? Okay, well. I know some spots that can't have a hook shot. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know how that works out logically. Dude, and I would have gotten that if I didn't hover. <laughs> That's even funnier. New team? Nice. Well, I'd I'd tell you to spill the beans, but I can I can be patient and just wait until this weekend.
feel like I should be skipping this stuff, honestly. If I was far more confident in my hovering abilities, I would be skipping literally everything and just beelining it to Trinex and then beelining it back to Helma. Oh, yeah, I never checked Lumberjack. Imagine if there was a hookshot there. Wouldn't that be something else? Mario 35 sucks. What makes you say that, DT? Or is it just because you're bad? Sure, go for it. I won't be able to check it right away. Unless I can hover over it. An error occurred. Dang. See, that's the thing, is because of T-Rock small... Well, actually... The T-Rock small... Locked by hookshot. Oh, I think that only means that Trinex is... Not gonna have a hookshot. That's about it. It's okay, Files. I don't want your help. I feel like we go back in, check the first three, then we go straight to the pond. We have two pod smalls, so we could just be big lazy and open up the first door. Mm. I don't know, it's tough. It depends on how much I'm willing to check in pod, or if I do want to just go for the hover. I've already hovered once today. I know I can do it. Just be right here, please. Thank you. Thanks, game. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's a good game. Okay, cool. Well, I kind of feel dumb for not checking that initially, but at the same time, I was still looking for pod keys, so it's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. So the only thing that we did that was arguably a big waste of time was going back to Skullwoods. That's about it. And I guess continuing in Ice Palace, but... See, now this is great. I have two pod smalls, so I don't have to go right side. I can literally just open this door and go straight to Helma. Grab my last crystal and then go beat the game.
and then we can play the Mario. Yeah, I'll have to ask my opponent where they got their pod smalls. No one's finished yet, so... Yeah, this is one of the strangest key sanities. So, Smith Chain, Purple, uh, Pyramid Fairy, Skull. I, I'd say those were all my big, uh, and I guess all the, the flipper stuff that I did prior to going up to Death Mountain. That's about it. Oh, and the initial dip into pod was zero keys. <laughs> that was a bad call, I'd say. Remember when the seed made it seem like I was supposed to go into swamp? But I didn't listen to that. Nice. Nice. Alright, we'll go for... That's not right. Is getting frightening? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> now I just need someone to come over and like straighten it. The scary thing is it's almost the same length as my mom's. And we have the exact same hair. I don't think so. <laughs> I still never go to McDonald's unless it's like just for their hash brown patties. That's about the only thing I'll ever get at McDonald's. Or, I'm well, I guess at, at AGDQ, we did go to McDonald's and I got a... A McChicken fries and who was it? Somebody was like, you gotta try the Snickerdoodle Freeze or ice cream smoothie. So I got one of those. Those are pretty good. DT Gardabad. What? No, fuck you. How dare you? I never said I was your mom. That doesn't mean I can't tell you to go to bed. <laughs> it's a solid quote. All right, no sub 90, but that's okay. It is nice being able to go to GT and just go straight upstairs. And I have a red potion, and I still have a fairy. DT can't sleep. Too excited from big birthday bash weekend. Nice. 
Okay, overall I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty good about this seed. I would arguably say that it was kind of a pretty It was a pretty linear seed altogether, just because everything kind of led to the next crystal dungeon. Like we never really got bamboozled by beating a dungeon and it being a pendant. So... Ah. Guess it really just comes down to when my opponent dipped ice, I'd say. No one's finished yet. There's still hope. switch to that. I'm not used to non-quick spawn. <laughs> hey, more magic. Thanks. Oh, that's why. I see. News to me. What's up, Captain? Heard you and Kachiri had a fun co-op seed today. Stupid... Can fairy? <laughs> it's not how that was supposed to go. How did that miss? Hello? <laughs> What's up, Sleepy? Wow, look at that sick raid message. Yeah. Okay, I take it back. I got literally no notification about that if you did raid. So that's that's jacked up. Triple? Oh, I wouldn't have gotten it anyway, but the potential was certainly there. Bum, 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 bum. Unspeakable sass. No. Anything but that. Dropping into the Ganon fight sub 90. There we go. That feels pretty good. Him, for him to be like, I was in a, I don't know, ice palace. Sure. It's like the if he says T Rock, I'm being mad. <laughs> Is that long enough? Nice.
GG's. That's a first place finish overall. Nice. There was 10 people in this race. I got first overall. Sweet. Who did I beat? I beat JP. Aw. My boy Brewers fan JP. Good old Brew Crew 